Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lexi and today I will be showing you how I make Christmas themed paint your own cookies. As you can see here, I use an extra large rectangle shaped cookie for these ones. I start by flooding the whole entire cookie in white royal icing. To start the flooding process, I first make an outline all the way around my cookie. Here I'm using the same consistency icing that I will use to flood my cookie. If you would like, you can use a thicker consistency to create a barrier all the way around the cookie so your flood icing won't spill over. Some people find it easier. I personally don't like making multiple bags of the same color icing in different consistencies. I'm a little lazy like that. So I just use my flood consistency. What I usually do is I will let the border set for a few seconds before I go ahead and flood the cookie. I'm just going back and forth, up and down with the flood consistency white icing, making sure to continuously put pressure on the bag and when I need to, I will twist the bag to have a stronger grip. That allows me to have more control and it feels just more comfortable in my hand. You have to find your own way of how holding the piping bag feels good for you. I personally like to have it right in the palm and use my fingers to put pressure on the bag to control the flow of icing. Here I'm going to take my scribe tool and use it to smooth out my icing and make sure there's no lumps or bumps or any mistakes. You can also use a toothpick during that step. While your cookie is drying, take a piece of parchment paper and white thicker consistency icing and make your paint dots. So I just do little circles. You can do a template if you want them to be perfect or just freehand it like I do. Once your dots are completely dry, I like to have mine dry overnight. I take my gel food coloring mixed with a little bit of vodka and a paintbrush and just paint right on top of the hardened icing. The alcohol in the vodka completely evaporates, so all you're left with is the color. You can choose any colors you would like. I chose four different colors, red, green, blue, and yellow but the possibilities are endless. You could have 10 different colors, just two colors, anything you want. Once the icing dots have completely dried, they do tend to pull off of the parchment paper. So I just use my scribe tool, or again, a toothpick works just to hold it down and paint over it. To put the image on my cookie, I'm going to use an app called Camera Lucida. I've allowed the app to have access to all my photos, so I go and find the photo that I want projected onto my cookie. This app is fantastic if you don't have a projector. It's completely free. It does take a little bit getting used to, but as you can see here, you can adjust the image my cookie is actually underneath my tablet. I have it propped up just on some containers so it is hovering above my cookie. And now I am just adjusting the image so it is lighter and I can see through to my cookie below. And I use this to draw on my cookie an outline with an edible marker. The difference between this and using an actual projector is the app doesn't project an image onto my cookie. You actually have to look through your tablet onto the cookie below. 
It definitely does take a little bit of time to get used to it. I recommend playing around, seeing how it works, getting comfortable with it. I will be making a video in the future to show you everything I know about this fabulous app. But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick overview. You definitely don't have to use this app when making paint your own cookies. You can freehand draw it, you can use a projector, you can even use a stencil. There are so many different ways of making paint your own cookies. Once you've finished drawing your image on your cookie with your edible marker, I outline it with a stiff black royal icing. Paint your own cookies are so great because you can do absolutely anything. You can do any image, any design, any theme, and it works. All you need is a stiff consistency black outline, draw an image on a flooded cookie, and let it dry. I like doing my paint your own cookies on a large rectangle because that enables me to be able to put the paint palettes directly on the same cookie that you'll be painting. However, you can do your paint your own cookie on any shape you want. You can have your paint palette on a separate cookie. You can even use little candies like Skittles as your paint palette or you can order online or if you know someone local that makes little cookie painting strips, that works too. That way you don't have to make the paint palettes yourself. However, we already made them, so I am going to be taking my little paint dots once they're completely dry and adding some icing to the back of them and just putting them directly on my cookie. I'm going to use my scribe tool to secure the paint dots on the cookie and move them to the spot that I want them to be in. Next, you have to let your cookie completely dry so the black outline won't smudge when you start painting. Painting your cookie is super easy. All you need is water and a paintbrush. This is the perfect activity for kids as it's mess free and easy to do. They paint on their cookie the exact same way they would paint on paper. This is such a fun activity to do with your kids when the weather might not be very nice outside. And because it's all just with paint, there are no sprinkles all over your floor like other cookie decorating. There's no right or wrong way to paint your cookie, so let your artistic creative side shine and have fun with it. Again, you can do any design, any theme, any color, and the best part, you get to eat your creation at the end.
thank you so much for joining me and I really hope this video helped you make your own paint your own cookies.